bug-out time. The stuff has hit the fan. Time to bug out. Oh, but there's one thing. Country Prepper told me 10 items. I could only bring 10 items. Yeah, some may agree with what I brought, and some may disagree, but uh, let's get on to the uh, 10 items that I chose. Um, first off, before we go that far, bug out bag. Most of us know what that is, but if you don't, pretty simple. I think the uh, terminology started during uh, the Korean, Korean War. Uh, when it was time to go, you bugged out. So that term has been brought into survival prepping for when the uh, stuff hits the fan. It's the bag that you have ready to go. It's your bug out bag when you hit the road. As you see here, I have my Kelty 50, but You know, my first thoughts, I just thought, some of you may be asking, why are you in your work clothes? Why aren't you in camouflage? I was at work when I got the call, time to bug out. Um, you know, that's when I turned the radio on, I heard it had hit the fan. I had to go in what I had. Didn't have time to put on camouflage in my best hiking boots and, uh, you know, I wore what I had. Something to think about. Pack. This is just a pack of one of my kids from high school. I thought about something like this. I thought, you know, in a bug out situation, do you want to be tactical? Do you want to stand out like a sore thumb? Do you want to look like you're carrying gear that may be helpful for somebody else? Well, I tested the school bag. For one, needless to say, it carried terribly. Uh, if you had to carry it for a long distance, I don't think it would uh, work well. I don't think the quality would last long enough out in the woods. And uh, with that, with the test I did, I went through some of the thickest brush that I could find. And I had it full of gear. My zippers came undone. The side zippers came undone. I actually lost gear. Luckily, I went back and uh, found the gear that had fallen out. So, if you're thinking of going gray man or whatever they want to call it, uh, trying to carry something like a school backpack, I don't think it's a good idea. My next choice is something like a ultralight or a light backpack. Some may uh, argue on the quality, well, not the quality, but the uh, sturdiness, the ruggedness of it to uh, handle rough terrain. Uh, as I said, the school backpack totally failed at that. Anybody that's actually uh, used something like this in that kind of a scenario, leave some comments. I'm, I'm curious. So my next thought was... ...was to go back to what I first decided not to do it was more of a tactical bag. You know, I said you would stand out like a sore thumb, but I think something like this would be sturdier. I think this would well handle the terrain and the uh, brush that you would have to go through and uh, anything that you would need for bugging out. Not that this wouldn't. I think they both would, but uh, that's what I've chose to go with. I know, you're waiting for the 10 items and you don't want to hear my yapping. Let's get to those. As I mentioned, uh, Country Prepper put out a challenge to uh, choose 10 items. And, you know, I had to think about that. Are, are we talking kits or individual items? So I'm going to look at that kind of both ways, if you don't mind. I'm going to first talk about, on some of these uh, items, in a kit. And I'll explain that as I go on. And then, if I had to choose one item out of that kit, what it would be. Well, my first thoughts is shelter. Um, and as I said, I'm thinking of a three days to two weeks, full out run, trying to get away from where you're at, maybe to another location or, or just to get away and then come back, but you're on the run. So being a hammock camper, the first thing I thought of was my hammock. But yeah, 
bugging out, totally wrong color. Uh, for bushcrafting, would be great. I think I need to replace this in my bug out bag if I if I stay with the hammock, which I'll talk about later. If I stay with the hammock, I'll go with something more earth tone or camouflage. And being part of the kit, I would consider having with that a tarp. And I would say the bigger tarp that you could, the biggest tarp that you could carry, the better. So many uses. And a poncho. Alicia Tapway camouflaged. But if I had to choose just one item, I'd keep the poncho. My thoughts on that, good cover for rain. You know, it's natural use. Can be used as shelter. Um, it can be used for uh, coverage. As I said, I'm out here in my work clothes. If I had to duck and cover, this would be better to use for coverage than my tarp or my blue hammock. So I think I would go with the poncho. And it also can collect water and uh, many uses. So shelter, I would choose just the poncho. Number two would be my fire kit. And as I said, I'm thinking of it as a kit. And in that, I would have my ferro rod. And I would choose the biggest beefiest ferro rod you have for that. And, of course, flint and steel. I would carry my flint and steel with me. And, of course, lighters. That would be my fire kit. Now, again, if I had to choose one item, Not a big, big. One new big lighter that I have in my fire kit. Not a used one that I found laying on the park in the parking lot. Brand new big. I would carry that over anything else. Okay, number three. Looking at a cutting item. A knife. As many of you know, and I've said uh, in a couple of my videos and, and also in a few comments I've made, I'm not a knife guy. Um, I don't know all the different particulars of knives. I don't, um, just not a knife guy. But I have learned that you want a good quality knife. And you want a knife for the purpose that you're using it for. You know, I'm all about budget. I love budget. But I'm finding you have to find that uh, balance between quality and budget. And I think the more a knife fits that fairly well, I've stepped up, thanks to EDC uh, Adventures, the Mora uh, Garberg. You know, I would have chose the... Uh, more of black at one time. I would have said that would have been the knife I carried. But the more I think about it, if that is my only cutting utensil. I also want something that if I had to, I can prep food with. You could with that, but I'd rather do it with stainless. So, uh, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. If you can afford it, go for it, but make sure it's a good knife, that it's built for the woods, full tang, and preferably stainless steel. My choice on knife. Number four, a cook kit. And when I say cook kit, what I mean by that is, first off, an eating utensil, spoon, fork. I don't have my fork with me. Sorry about that, but some sort of eating utensil. Also, I would include in that a cup for drinking out of and then a larger pot or even larger cup for cooking out of, carrying water, so many uses. But I would use those as my cooking utensils. And included in the cook kit, I would include some kind of stove. 
I have a little stove that my brother had got for me. And uh, I've only used it a couple times. Looking forward to trying it some more, but I like it. But some kind of lightweight, easy to put together stove that will not only use sticks, but also man-made materials. You know, if you're in a true bug out situation, you're on the run, whether whether you think it's going to be for three days, two weeks, or for eternity. If you're on the run, you aren't always going to have time to make a large fire, to tend to it. You may not even have the resources, depending where you're at. So a small stove with some man-made uh, fire material, fire starting material, or sticks. I would include that in my fire kit, uh, cook kit. But, as I said, if I had to choose one item, again, to drink out of, and if I had to, I could still cook in it if I need to, and I could still boil water if I needed to boil water. So, number four, just a cup. Number five, I would choose a flashlight. And as I said, I'm all about budget. But with a flashlight and in a bug out situation, especially if you think it's long term bug out, one dollar flashlight from Walmart ain't going to cut it. Buy yourself a decent flashlight. Um, you know, get a good headlamp. Headlamps are all right, uh, they're great for seeing at nighttime uh, when you're traveling through the woods if you have to. But do you really want to stand out at nighttime while you're traveling? I, I don't know how much you would travel at night anyway, but, uh, you know, depends on the situation. But I sure wouldn't want to be walking through the woods with a bright headlamp on advertising where I'm at. I would opt for some kind of a smaller flashlight. Uh, this is the Olight. Uh, I know a lot of guys are pretty fond of the uh, through nights. I've never tried one of those. But you'd want something, I think, that is fairly sturdy built. Something that has a bright setting on it and a fairly dim setting as well. And, of course, a lot of them have the strobe. I don't know how much you'd want to use that. But uh, I, would, I would make sure you got one that had a fairly good range between the bright and the dim. If it's all bright, you know, can't always use it. Same thing if it's always dim. And if there's not much difference between your bright and your dim useless so fairly decent flashlight that's number five number six a firearm I know I'll get some agreements and disagreements with what I think on the firearm but uh, that choice is it's a personal choice I think again that goes back to a lot to your mindset or worldview and of course you, no matter what your mind your worldview is or anything else what is the current political situation what is the current economic situation may totally change your plan on what you carry for a firearm I have two different ones I would I would choose between I would choose either a 22 rifle or an air rifle you know a large caliber rifle would be good for protection uh, you can take down a deer but there's also a lot of things that, uh, if it's not a war situation, and you may bring more attention to yourself carrying something like uh, an AR or something like that. 22, you still could bring down a deer, uh, small game as well, not as loud as a larger rifle. Second to that would be an air rifle. I may even consider that as my first choice. Uh, if it's a bu true bug out situation, Excuse me. And I want to stay quiet and uh, not draw any attention. I can still take down some squirrel, a rabbit. Don't think I'm going to take down a deer with it, but, uh, you know, we'll play shot to a head of a turkey maybe even. But wouldn't consider, I wouldn't be too far from considering an air rifle. Something to think about. Uh, so that's my, what choice was that? Number six, firearm. Okay, number seven. I would choose a wool blanket. Of course, if it's uh, winter time, you'd want to change it out for a heavier sleeping bag. But, or at least 
half the year, even up to maybe three quarters of the year, might be able to get by with a wool blanket. Keep you warm enough if you're on the run. Uh, you may not be sleeping that much anyway, maybe enough just to get a little bit of shut eye. Wool blanket's dark enough, you could use it to cover up with if you need to try to stay get camouflaged, uh, you know, from somebody walking by. Of course, it's not totally camouflaged, but it's better than a blue tarp. But uh, I would choose a wool blanket for number seven. Number eight, a well-rounded first aid kit. And well-rounded, I should say well-balanced. I don't think you want to have all trauma bandages, tourniquets, nor do you want to have nothing but uh, Flintstones, Band-Aids, and uh, Aspirins. You know, they all may come in handy, but you want to have a little bit of both in there. Yes, you could have a trauma situation where you need the tourniquet, large wound bandages, but if you are bugging out, truth, truly, and you weren't prepared, you may be in dress shoes. You may not be in the best hiking shoes. Some of you may be wearing high heels. Yeah, bust them heels off quickly. You will get blisters. Blisters. So, you want to consider stuff like that. Maybe have some bandaging for, they got little blister bandages, uh, something like that. Some antiseptics, ointments, things like that. Okay, number nine, a good wa water filtration kit. And again, I say buy the best kit you can. Uh, I, I wouldn't go budget on this. I just have the mini Sawyer, but I'm really thinking about stepping this up. I'm not sure what I want to use yet. But anyway, a good water filtration kit would be my number nine item. My number 10 item comes uh, from my mindset that I don't think it's going to be a long bug out and at some point things will get back to normal, whatever the new normal is at that time after the bug out situation. The powers that be, i.e. the governments, always seem to have a way to get a society going again. I do not think it's going to be, as I said, a Mad Max situation no rule, no government, uh, every man for himself. Yeah, there may be a short period of that, but society always seems to reestablish itself. And a part of reestablishing re yourself, I think you want documents, and that's where a thumb drive would come in handy. Your personal papers, documents, pictures of your family. They be what you need to get yourself reestablished again. And, you know, I mentioned pictures of the family. If you can't bring a thumb drive and you don't have the papers, at least bring the pictures of your family in some kind of waterproof container or something for two purposes. If you get separated from your family and you run into other people, you can show them the pictures and go, hey, have you seen these people? Second situation, not as pleasant, but uh, if something happens to you, whether you've, just, you've been hurt or, sadly, if, if you died and somebody comes upon you and they look through your gear and they find the pictures, somebody can go, hey, I know these people. Maybe they can connect your family back to you. So, so that's number 10, and that's kind of a sad way to end, end this, but there are my 10 items. You know, I, I think I'm going to add one thing. If I could add one thing to this, I think I would bring some sort of shortwave radio if I could. If nothing else, just a small portable radio, uh, if it had to even be a crank radio. But some way to get news of what's happen happening in civilization or whatever's left of civilization. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts on that or uh, if you totally disagree and think I'm stupid on the, my choices, hey, let me know. I mean, I'm willing to uh, hear uh, other advice. And, uh, you know, maybe there's something I'm missing or not thinking about. So, you know, comment. Let me know what you think. Give me your ideas of uh, what you would take. Anyway, guys, there's my 10 items. Thanks for watching. This uh, was a challenge from Country Prepper. I hope you guys get over there and uh, check him out. 
And also, he's having a bug out bag test. I think it's May 19th, if I remember right, through the 21st. Go there and check out Country Prepper and check out his uh, bug out get together he's got planned. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't drag this on too long. Talk to you later.